Today's tutorial is all about the stagger tool. There's a lot here packed into one little feature, so let's get going. So in this case, I have 10 performers, uh, 10 trumpet players, and the first thing you should always do is you should uh, design your set. So think through it. Uh, if I wanted these trumpets uh, to step off, uh, let's say every count as a ripple, uh, and maybe move eight steps and then halt, I could animate this a couple of different ways. So in this case, what we'll do, um, since they're, they're only moving eight steps, I don't really want them to go too far. We'll come down here and we'll move them you know, literally just over six down four, kind of a, a float move. That'll give you an idea of what we need to do for the stagger. So in the stagger tool, which is up here in the corner, it kind of looks like two arrows going either direction. You've got a couple options here. Um, in this case, we're gonna have them step off every count. So every one count. And then you can choose to do a drop off or uh, just type in a duration. So a drop off will be, um, they'll use as many counts as they can, and then they will halt one at a time. So I'll show you what that looks like. That would look like this. Step, 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 halt, 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 halt. Okay, and you notice the last two guys uh, because of the amount of counts, 16 counts, we're kind of halting at the same time. So if you really want the uh, motion to be you know, perfectly in time and you want the ripple to be um, exact, you may want to change the grouping, maybe have uh, two people step off at a time or um, have the, the last person step early or something like that to make sure that the, the motion looks good. Now, if you were to go through and modify this, you could have um, group size. This group size right here, uh, you can have, uh, say, two. So now two people at a time will step off. You can have them step off uh, every count, just like we just did, and drop off every count. So let's see what that looks like. So two people at a time will step. Two, 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 two. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so you, you'll want to think through what you're doing and uh, exactly how you want to do it and play around with the groupings and the, and the um, counts that you step off to get the desired look. Okay, I tend to use grouping when I have my forms go from like linear to block. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll go back to delete the transition, select our guys again. And from here, we'll do a just, just a four by four. And I may need to move this over just a little bit, just because these last few guys, oh no, I should be okay, except. So now we kind of move them to a four by four grid. Once you've got them in place, then you use the stagger tool to show uh, how to do the transition. So grouping size, I'm gonna have it in twos because I had every, every other person go down, so that that's, that's gonna be that. And then we're gonna step off every uh, let's do every count. That should look good. And then we'll drop off every uh, uh, count as well. Okay, actually, we'll, we'll just do this. Let's make this eight. So, the, so instead of using drop off, now I'm using duration so that I know it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I know they'll have eight steps and it should be perfect. So using the grouping can make it look very um, organized and saves you time trying to animate uh, to groups of twos going off and moving off into, um, into space. And you don't have to sit here and, and, and mess around with these red and yellow anchors. Stagger tool is a very useful tool, but it's also important that when you do this, that in your notes, in your production sheet, that you separate these guys out and you let the directors know who's going where. So what I tend to do is I do this, I'll uh, have the directions in the, in the notes and um, I'll just kind of put you know, arrows or lines with no, no things here and then I'll do say um, 
a G1, and that just says group one. And then this is group two. And then on their drill sheet, uh, they have, you know, the director knows who to do. So in the text box, it says group one, move one through eight. Group two, move three through 10, you know, that sort of thing. That way people know what group they're in and it keeps it clear. And you can, you know, let them know what to do. So that's just a couple of ways that I use the stagger tool. Um, I know that, you know, there's there's a variety of different ways to use it, but those are probably the two that I use most. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.